Hello ladies and gents and all you initialized lovers out there, welcome you to this new episode. It is challenge time again. In this video I am talking about another video I already published here on this channel in the past. The video is called Set up your switch. And if you remember one aspect of this video was how you can implement a three position switch with logical switches that are controlled or activated by a trim switch. In the case of the video it was the T3 switch here on the on the steering mount of the MT-12. Such a three position switch can be used to control a gearbox for example and it seems that this setup is well really new in use out there in the, in the real world which is always a cool thing to hear that the setup uh, does what it should and is really active out in the wild. But now the question has arised how can you modify the setup that we don't start at neutral position but we start at a specific position, in this case at plus 100%. If you remember in this uh, logical switch setup, the switches L05 and L08 are the switches which were then used to, um, to control the mixes. And if you turn on the radio or if you select a model, neither L05 nor L08 are active, which means we are in the middle position, we are at neutral. And this should be changed. The, the driver of the car wants to start at plus 100%. This is because he has a, a two-speed gearbox in his car and this gearbox is at first gear at plus 100%, at uh, second gear at minus 100% and at neutral position the gearbox is at neutral. And he wants to start right with the first gear and well, so we have to find a way to initialize the setup that it starts with uh, at plus 100% and in this case it's, this means L05 should be active right from the start. I guess I found a solution for this. We need two more logical switches and well I will show you this this modification of the setup right here in this video but before we start as usual the quick reminder if you like the video if you find it helpful or interesting and or interesting then please hit the like and the subscribe buttons and if you want to support me any further and if you're real cool then please buy me a coffee my eternal gratitude is yours. And now let's go to the MT-12 and modify the setup. Okay, let us go to the model setup and here to the logical switches. I've recreated the setup from the video setup your switch. Here you can see all the setup. As you can see, this is the initial state of the, of the setup of this three position switch. And as you can see, neither L05 nor L08 is active in the initial state which means we are starting at neutral position. And this we want to change. And after the, after the modification, if you turn on the radio or you load a model, then L05 should be active from the start. So how can we do this? Um, if you have a look here, L05 gets then activated if L09 is active. This is a sticky and L09 turns the sticky on. So what we need is we need um, a way that we can activate this sticky here, this L05 sticky after the radio has been turned on or the model head has been loaded. So for this let us set up L01, a new logical switch. Here we need the function sticky because we need a switch that holds its value. It has a value of let's say A when the radio is turned on. Then the first time we hit the T3 plus button the, the value changes to the value B for example and it stays there at value B. It doesn't change anymore. Um, it doesn't matter what button you click here on the radio. The, this switch holds its value. It has an initial value when you turn on the radio and the first time you hit the T3 button, the T3 plus, then this value changes and then from there on the value is always the same. So this is a sticky switch and we need V1. We have to set V1 because V1 turns on the sticky and for this I choose the T3 plus trim switch. So this means, as I said, when we turn on the radio or we load the model, then the LO switch, logical switch, is 
deactivated is off and the first time we hit T3 plus LO1 becomes active. If I hit now T3 plus LO1 is now active and no, no matter what button I click or how often I click T3, LO1 stays now in this state here. Very well. Now we have our logical switch which we can use to identify whether we are in the initial state or not. Now, how can we use this logical switch? Um, and by the way, what we have here is some sort of inversion or uh, inverted function, if you will. Because when we turn on the radio, then we are in the initial state, but the logical switch is off. And as soon as we press T3+, the switch becomes on, the state of the switch is on, but we are no longer in the initial state. So this is, um, well, inverted, if you will. This is not a problem, but we have to remember this. Now let's go back to the logical switches and take LO2. Again, LO9 is in the standard setup, the logical switch, which turns the sticky LO5 on. So now we have to combine LO1 and LO9, because in the initial state, LO1 must trigger LO5 to become active. So we need a way that either LO1 or LO9 can activate LO5. Let's do it with LO2. For this we need the function OR, the logical function OR. And remember, the OR function is then activated or active if either V1 or V2 or both of them are active. So for V2 we select LO9, the logical switch LO9, because we know that LO9 does the right thing, it works as we want it uh, to work and well, let's choose LO9 as it is. So if we don't set V1, then only LO9 would be well, uh, responsible for setting LO2. But in V1 we can choose the logical switch we just created, LO1, but we have to invert it. Remember, in the, in the startup, when we turn on the radio or load a model, then LO1 is deactivated, is off, if you will, and as soon as we press T3+, plus, then LO1 becomes active. So, what does this all do here? When we turn on the radio, LO1 is off. But we have here this LO1 inverted with this exclamation mark here. This means if we turn on the radio, LO1 is off, bus, but with this inverted um, function here, LO1 becomes active for the, the function here in the, in the logical switch LO2. That means LO2 is active when we turn on the radio. Then as soon as we press T3+, plus, LO1 becomes active, but with the inverted function here, it becomes deactivated here in this logical uh, switch setup here, in this LO2 setup. That means V1 is from now on off and does not um, well propagate or, or um, do anything here in this logical, um, in this logic setup here, in this OR function. The only element which um, can now control this OR here, with, that can activate this, this OR, is V2. And this is LO9. And we know LO9 does what we want. So, well, if this is it. LO2 is now ready to be used in the setup. And how do we use this LO2 switch now? Simply by replacing LO9 with LO2. We edit LO5 and we replace LO9 with LO2. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the whole magic here. Now, if I reload the model, we will have an initial state for this logical switch, for this three-position switch setup. Let me um, reload the model real quick. Load model 6, then load model 5, and now, initial state. We are now at plus 
If I now push or pull, let's say pull T3, which means I pull T3 minus, nothing happens and this is the right behavior because nothing, um, it is not allowed to, to, to do anything here. Now if I push T3 down, which means I, pull, I, well, I press T3 plus and remember I have to push it uh, a little time because we have some sort of debounce here programmed, so I push T3 down, T3 plus, now we are in a neutral, again T3 plus, minus 100, I pull it upwards, neutral, plus 100. Very well, now we have set this three position switch to start with an initial value of plus 100, very well. Now you can say, well, this is very cool, my friend, but what if I don't want to start with plus 100, but I want to start with minus 100? Well, you can do this as well. This is a very simple change. Just go to the mixes and there you have two options. You can either exchange the switches here, the LO5 or LO8, the, the logical switches. You can set LO5 to the second line and LO8 to the first line. or you simply exchange the, well, the signs of these values here. The first line of channel 3 has plus 100, a weight of plus 100, and the second line has currently a weight of minus 100. If you swap this and say the first line with, this, with the button LO5 assigned has minus 100 and the second line plus 100 with LO8, then you, have, uh, you will start with minus 100. But don't do both, don't change the, the signs here and swap the, the buttons because then you will be right where you have started. Just uh, do one of these modifications, either change the buttons or change the values here. And that's it ladies and gentlemen, now the challenge is fulfilled, the challenge is complete. We have an initial state here for our three position switch setup. The logical switch setup. I think this is a very cool exchange here or a very cool modification. Thank you for staying with me until the end here. If you find this video somewhat helpful, if you like the content, again please hit the like and the subscribe buttons and if you have subscribed then we will meet very soon here on this channel again with new informations about the Radio Master MT12 or any other related uh, content related to the beautiful RC hobby. Thanks for watching, goodbye, servus.